Hi friends, this is Sarah from Crafting and Relaxing. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. This is Smash Those Small Pads. This is a collaboration with Bourbon Creek Crafts here on YouTube. We are continuing to use up the small paper pads that we have in our stash. Not about buying new things, it's about using them. And if you know me, you know that pink is kind of hard for me. Spring is about the only time that I do it. So I had to dive in. And in the voting last month, many of you said birthday bash, and then a bunch of you said garden party, and some said not garden party because it's too much like what you just did. But remember, that's the only time I'll use these kind of papers is in the spring. And then some said knock out birthday bash because there's not that much left. It came to me as a partial, and then work on garden party. I decided to do it all this month, which I don't think I've ever done a partial and a whole 36 in a month. So I feel pretty proud of myself. I don't have embellishments like enamel dots on these. Some might still need them, but the only dimension I have is if I used a dimensional sticker. They store better without them and they mail better, you know, if you just put enamel dots. And then you can just put enamel dots if you want to mail them and not get too carried away. So let me show you. The first section over here is the Birthday Bash by Queen and & Company, and this one is Garden Party by Pebbles. And I'm just gonna flip through them. They all have cute stuff inside, and you'll see themes, or maybe I had the same die cut sitting on the counter. Look at that with the punches behind it, it's a fun one. I used some scraps, some stuff I just set out to use. I just had a great time. And every one of them has something cute inside. And these are blue hats stamped on gray paper that I fussy cut. There we go. Look at that. Woofing you a happy birthday. These are like the sorry you're having a rough day from last month. But I just loved them as birthday cards. Look at this one. And all I did was stamp it on colored paper and then die cut it or fussy cut it. And I used white or silver pen on the collar and the thing. That's it. Just a quick pop. Happy birthday. These die cuts went so nicely with this paper. Another woofing you a happy birthday. Happy birthday. I was testing out a stamp and it was a weird color of paper and it worked. And these are stamped in navy on green. Just making birthday cards and going for it. Then on this one, this one I had so few scraps left, I didn't even show you, and I made 13 total. On this one, I made 28, and one of them I already gave away, so you didn't even get to see that one. I have a bunch of these little tiny embellishments left, a few of the larger ones. I'll use those in journals or clusters or something, but they just didn't work really well for cards for me. And then some of the umbrella paper. If you have an umbrella die or something like that, you could have done more rain theme cards, but I still have some rain left. <laughs> this paper was interesting because it had bees and some rain things and a lot of floral and then a lot of gardening floral type stuff. So I sort of ran with the themes in the paper, just buzzing by to say thank you. And I have bees big hugs. A bunch of these were from the sentiment day that we did. So these are my friend Noni's dies that I had cut out and I used a ton of them. Big hugs. Hello there. And pansies. Daisies and big hugs. This one, I tried to use some of those little tinies from this collection. I did like these. A lot of the sentiments repeated. So I had to choose carefully. So you can use them. They just weren't my favorite. You're the bee's knees, and this was from a different sticker collection that I had, and just a black scallop behind it to make it pop. Another You're the bee's knees. This one might not fit in an envelope too well, so don't get too rowdy with your flags. Get well. I threw away the soon because it was too big. Joy. This was my very last down to the wire card. This is what I came up with when I flipped this over and realized I had one unfinished with sympathy, second to the last. You can tell, I was a little tired. Happy birthday. Again, I used some of those little ones. I think part of the trick is don't cut them all apart. Stop and look at them because then you get a little scale if you leave some connected. And this is a pearlescent paper with sympathy and some peonies. Get well and some pansies. 
grateful to you. This is a die from Honey Bee Stamps. And then I just stamped the to you down there. This one was in my, I've got to use that stash. Craft Scraps gave me these stamps a long time ago and I had used the sentiment, but I don't think I'd ever used this girl. And she's dancing in the rain as far as I'm concerned. So it's a rain card. There is some iridescence on her, but it's not going to show probably in the video. Thanks. This is the die that Kathleen sent me, and I think this is a really fun way to use it. I was kind of challenged by it, but I like how these turned out. I got so low on paper, I had to pull this from another pad. Grateful. There's a lot going on here, but I think it works. Thanks and bees. Thanks. This is one of my scrap cards, and then a die cut. I feel like there might be a cat hair in there. That's a gift from my household to you. Miss You, it's about gardening and then it has the flower seeds. I guess they'd be flower packages, right? Or something. And then die cut. Look at this one. Get Well and it's a black kitty and I put tiny little white embellishments on it to just make it pop a little more. Looking up at the Get Well. That one's pretty cute too, huh? I like that one. This one, I tried. I tried a black souffle pen on it to save it. I didn't have enough contrast and I had too many patterns in my die cut layers. So just be careful. Sometimes you push the envelope and love it. Sometimes you do it and go, eh, I don't love it. Count your rainbows, not your thunderstorms. And it's a rain themed card. I thought this one was pretty fun. I like how it turned out. I did mix the white and the cream, but I think the world goes on bloom where you're planted. This was, I want to credit her, but I'm stuck. I think this was a Jess Crafts layout, one of her one sheet wonders. And I think she had her sentiment right here. I was experimenting. Look at this one. It's a black dye on the butterflies. So those are all of my cards. I had fun. There was a lot of TV watching. There's no process video. Sorry. It's just, you know, some before work, some after work, some watching TV at night, here and there. So there isn't a process video because I was everywhere all the time. I'm not going to throw this out. I'm going to throw these out. You can use this just after 36 sheets. I wasn't inspired to. So I'll put this in my stash. And then for next month, there's not going to be a vote, but this is what we're doing. I am going to do my giant batch of school staff cards. So 70 at least. I think the number's probably more than that now. It might be 75. I don't know how much paper you need. I just know how much paper I bought. <laughs> I would guess that if you used, you could do an inexpensive pack of solid card stock and probably one of these and make a whole bunch of cards. I found one that I loved. I love school and it has blue stars and I picked that up. And then not long after, I think in the same day when I was in Kansas City, I found this one at a Tuesday morning and I couldn't leave it behind. So I think I'm well stocked. If we run out, then I'll dip into this authentic partial. It's creams and more vintage colors though. So I'd rather just stick with this and be done. So next month, you should see a ridiculous amount. I haven't decided if they're thank yous. I have a stamp set for medical people that is hero themed a little bit, but I think it says I still have heroes, not we. So I'm still brainstorming what exactly they'll look like, but there will be a lot of them. Be sure to check out what Beth made at Bourbon Creek Crafts and come back next month. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.